Hello and welcome back to Only Analog. Got a slightly different video for you all this week. Um, I'm here in the kitchen and I'm ready to talk to you about developing your own colour film at home. So chances are if you found this video today, you're looking for something that you can use to easily develop your own colour film at home. I can quite confidently tell you, you've definitely come to the right place. Um, talking about colour chemistry isn't really something we do much of on the channel, um, and something we probably don't do enough of, with some amazing products out there. Uh, so maybe this will be the first of many. Uh, and what I've done today is I've sectioned this video into chapters, so please do feel free to skip ahead to any part of the video that you need. Before we get started today, I just want to let you know how I got into doing this at home. So we quite often visit our local lab known as Nicks and Tricks. Uh, they are lovely people over there, um, and on a recent visit they were nice enough to let us test the new Eco C41 kit by Bellini um, that they released for testing. And obviously we were absolutely honoured to be able to test this new kit um, for Bellini and for Nixon Tricks um, and to try our hand at developing colour film at home. I worked in a lab about 10 years ago, um, but I haven't really touched any colour chemistry since then, um, so this at home is still relatively new to me. It did feel a little bit daunting at first, I must admit, um, but if you're at all worried about trying this at home or if you don't think that you can do it, trust me when I tell you this is as easy as ABC. Um, I'd probably even go as far to say that it is easier than developing a black and white film. If you develop black and white film at home, you can 100,000% develop colour. So we're not endorsed or sponsored by Nixon Tricks or Bellini in any way at all. And as I said, I wouldn't usually create videos like this. But after putting a ton of rolls through this kit, uh, I feel like more people need to know about this. And I know that there's a few photographers out there that are definitely going to want to get their hands on some of this. Um, so I first want to talk to you about what comes in the box. So in the box you have four bottles. Your developer, bleach, which is the new eco bleach, making it a bit more friendly than other bleaches. Fix, stabilizer, and of course the instructions. I used a glass bottle with a vacuum stopper for the developer, and some black chemistry bottles for my fix and stabilizer. The bleach doesn't need any further mixing and is ready to use, so it can be poured straight from the bottle. The developer is said to last for about 16 rolls of film, but there are reports of it doing far more. You can also purchase extra developer to use once you start to see a dip in quality. The majority of the chemicals will outlive the developer. The stabiliser will make about 10 litres, so it's really easy to get any extra developer you need without purchasing the whole kit again. With all of this being super easy to mix and ready to go straight out of the box, I got to work with my developing. So as we move on to the developing stage, I must admit I did get a little bit nervous, but I really had no need. I simply followed the instructions and timings from the sheet provided. Of course, you're also going to need to bring your chemicals up to temperature, which is 38 degrees Celsius or 100 in Fahrenheit. For this, I used the Cinesteel TCS 1000 and a plastic tub I purchased from a hardware store. The rest was plain sailing. This kit is essentially mini lab grade chemistry, designed in a way to suit the home user. The results that you see would be exactly what you expect from your professional film lab. So once you've got all your chemistry up to temperature, the rest is an absolute breeze. It's literally as simple as pouring it in and out, making sure your timings are correct, and obviously agitating the tank every now and then. And of course it wouldn't be right not to show you some of the results. So these are the first few rolls that I had out of my Bellini C41 kit. The film stocks are both fresh and expired film um, and I ventured out with my Bronica ETRS, my Canon 7 and my Yushika Minister 3. Enjoy.
So the C41 Bellini kit is currently available to buy from Nixon Tricks Photographic Services. Uh, the original kit is available to buy, which is every bit as good as the new Eco kit. As I said, the new Eco C41 kit is still in its development stages, um, but will be available to the market very, very soon. So do keep an eye out for that as well. Um, but what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below for any of those that are interested in giving this kit a try for themselves. But I honestly can't stress enough how good this kit actually is and how easy it is to use. This has been an absolute game changer for me. Being able to develop my own work from the comfort of my own home has been an absolute blessing. Super easy to use, the instructions are clear as day on both how to mix up um, and all the timings that you're going to need for each stage in your development process. And what I like most about this kit is that I'm in complete control of my colour film from start to finish. From taking the photo, to developing, to scanning and then editing. Um, if you're anything like me as well, I absolutely love going out and shooting black and white and coming home and developing it. Um, I absolutely love the whole process of being in control of my own film. Um, so, you know, why not, why not do the exact same thing with colour? Um, you're cutting out the middleman, uh, you don't have to send your film off to a lab or take it down to your local lab and wait, have it scanned and sent back to you. So yeah, obviously this is up to 16 rolls of great quality uh, development. Um, there has been reports of it doing a lot, a lot more. Um, so if you're wise with your developer, um, you can get a little bit more out of it. And as I said, you can always top up your developer as well um, to increase the life of your whole kit and you don't have to buy the whole kit again. Thank you very much for watching today. I do really appreciate it. I hope this has inspired some of you to go out and try some of this beautiful Bellini C41 kit. If anyone has any questions about the development, the chemistry itself, or any questions or worries that you have about developing colour film at home, please do drop me a comment. I'll be happy to help out in any way that I can. And please do give it a like and hit the subscribe button as well. If you hit the bell notification button, it will notify you every time we have a new video. But yeah, once again, I just want to give a massive thanks to Nixon Tricks and to Bellini for letting us test this kit. Um, as I said, it's been an absolute blast using it and we've got some really, really nice results out of it so far. But yeah, once again, thanks for watching today and we'll catch you very soon in the next one. Peace.